Hello and welcome my dear friends. Welcome to another review of a modern fountain pen. This time I have for you an interesting French made pen. And um, I know that because I have engraved on this cap. Soprane. When I first bought it. It was part of a large lot of uh, fountain pens and I had the opportunity to buy it at a very decent price. I paid only 78 lace for this one, the equivalent of 15.67 euros or 16.98 US dollars. And when I first saw it, I thought that the Soprane was uh, the name of the model and uh, based on the beautiful nib, I thought it was a Laban product. So Laban is in fact a Taiwanese manufacturer of uh, fountain pens. And I thought that this was a special edition made by Laban. But I did some uh, searching on the internet and I found other similar models to this one made by Soprane and on those sites they told me that this is a French manufacturer. And in fact I have the wonderful logo at the top of the cap, right over here. It's like a dollar sign. It's definitely an S and uh, five lines as you can see. And the same logo over here. Unfortunately uh, I did not find a lot of information about this particular pen. And uh, I call it the um, Soprane Hieroglyphs uh, Egyptian model. Um, in fact, I will call it like this on uh, its review. If you know more about this model, my friends, uh, tell me what it was originally called. And uh, tell me when do you think it was launched on the market. Now let's talk about its uh, design, definitely a cylindric design. It reminds me a lot of uh, the design of the Parker Duofold from the 1920s. But it is a quite, quite large fountain pen. I have also a Mont Blanc Meisterstück 146 from 1983. And you can see that it, this is quite, quite large and a massive fountain pen. In fact, I will leave its uh, dimensions on the screen, my friends, for you to see what I'm uh, talking about. This particular piece, it is a metallic piece. It's uh, definitely, uh, it has this uh, beautiful silver inlaid. It is machine uh, turned and uh, solid and a heavy pen. I'm calling this the hieroglyphs version because it definitely has some pictograms that uh, resemble the uh, Egyptian hieroglyphs. You can see very, very, very nice and uh, well uh, made. Uh, I don't know if this, the inlaid is of a material or uh, it's uh, simply engraved and painted in black, but uh, it is a very, very interesting, interesting design of the main material. Uh, the flat cap, I already shown you the logo, but it has also this uh, pattern, very interesting pattern, round pattern with those little holes. Very, very nice. It has a simple clip. Again, the similarity with the Parker clip, you can see with this ending similar to the Parker's and um, my dear friends this I think it is the original nib of this pen because it unscrews and you can see it reveals this wonderful grip section which is a little bit concave and we have this wonderful two-toned color steel nib uh, half of it, or uh, I, would, I would say more than half, is gold-plated. We have engraved on it Laban Iridium, the size of the nib M, and the logo of Laban. At the top we have a simple ebonite feeder, and uh, the number 4 engraved on it. 
if uh, I unscrew this uh, barrel, we can see that uh, it uh, holds international ink um, cartridges, but I think you can also fit an ink convector to it. I like uh, this model. I like the fact that we have a metallic part here and a plastic part here, but uh, it's not a simple plastic part. In fact, you can see the inside is uh, we can see that this part is uh, quite uh, durable, in fact it's uh, not just simple plastic, it's very very durable, so a very very uh, nice and well made pen. I will uh, do also a writing sample with this uh, wonderful piece, and for that my friends I will slightly change the angle of the camera, I will prepare here my uh, notebook. So right over here, my dear friends, and uh, let's see what I have. I don't know. Um, I, I'm uh, very sorry, my friends. Um, for the moment, I don't have ink cartridges, but I will just dip this uh, pen, and um, I will dip it in this ink. In fact, um, it is a uh, red ink. If I'm not mistaken, it is a Pelican 4001 red ink. And I will just dip the pen and I will do the writing sample like this. But first of all, let me change the angle of the camera, my dear friends. Let me see like this. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. And like this. Okay. Now, without further delay, I will just uh, dip uh, this in ink. It probably has residues of blue ink. So just, I will do this. And I hope that the feeder can hold the ink. So what is this, my dear friends? This is an interesting pen, a quite mysterious pen because I did not find many information about the producer. So let me see a little bit out, okay. So this is a beautiful Soprane. And like I told you, my dear friends, it has residues of the initial uh, black ink. So, I will try to write as good as I can. This is a Soprano. And um, I'm not so sure how to call this. Let's see. Egypt. Hieroglyph. I'm not so sure. Uh, this... Uh, they say it is made in France, made in France, and this particular model is fitted with a Laban M nib, a uh, two-toned color steel nib, this is steel. Okay, based on the way it writes, I think we have a rigid nib, but let me test it. As you can see right here no flex to it no flex to it but it is a simply simply juicy nib and i will show it to you very very juicy and now let me see if we have some line variance so right here no pressure and here i'm starting to apply pressure you can see practically no visible line variance over here so no visible line variance, my friends. It is a big, big nib. It seems to be like a uh, number six nib. I think it does the signatures quite well. It uh, do, does it uh, nice. And let me see, I'm curious to see if it can reverse, reverse writing. And yes. Unfortunately, my friends, I thought that it uh, was lost of ink, but no, no reverse writing pos uh, possibility. Unfortunately enough, it doesn't um, scratch, but you can see it loses the ink flow. And now, my dear friends, I can tell you about the Fox. So, the quick brown Fox jumps over the lazy dog. You can see a very, very nice 
writing i uh, love it it uh, simply glides on the paper no scratching here my dear friends it has a little bit of ink flow you can see here and here but this is due to the fact that i dipped it in ink just uh, the top of it and the top of the feeder probably if um, Mm, the feeder was uh, more um, in ink it uh, can hold uh, lots of ink so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog what can i tell you about this pen my dear friends this is a very very heavy pen and uh, a well-built pen but an interesting pen with those hieroglyphic motifs right over there i think i did uh, all right by uh, paying under 20 euros or 20 us dollars for it it is a very very nice pen and i believe it was a limited edition tell me what you think about it my dear friends i want to wish you to have a nice day my friends wherever you are this was the review of the soprano egypt hieroglyph fountain pen I hope you've uh, enjoyed it. I will see you again in the next episode. Till then, bye-bye, my dear friends, and God bless you all.